In this video I'm going to show you 30 tips in OneNote to go from beginner to expert. Let's jump right into it. The navigation button toggles the navigation panes on or off. Click it to display your current notebook's hierarchy. The search button provides an entry point to search for keywords and phrases in specific places in your notes. The recent notes button displays a chronological list of pages that you've recently viewed or edited. In the notebooks list that appears, click the name of the notebook you want to open. You can add new notebooks to separate your work by your subjects and projects. To create a new section in the current notebook, click the Add Section button at the bottom of the section list. To create a new page in the current section, click the Add Page button at the bottom of the page list. Use Immersive Reader to let OneNote read to you. Click on View and then Immersive Reader. A window with your text pops up. Here you can click Play. Any object that can be read. Use the To Do feature by clicking Home and then To Do. Here you can fill in your tasks and after completion crochet your tasks. Use the feature important to mark certain words or whole paragraphs which are important to you. You can find them quicker at later times if you go to the search bar and type quotation marks and important. Use the feature question for things you don't understand and want to look up at later times. The principle here is the same as with the feature important. Use keyboard shortcuts in OneNote. You can click help and then type in shortcuts. It shows you all shortcuts you can use. On the Insert tab, click Files to insert PDF files, for example, or just drag them over from your folder to OneNote. You can do the same with pictures as well. On the menu bar, click Insert, then Table to insert a starter table with four columns and four rows. While typing text on the current page, press Tab or Enter on the last row and column to create a new row. If you click on the table with your mouse, then on the top bar the option Table pops up. Here you can manipulate your table however you want. Click and drag here to resize the pane borders. Go to Draw, select the drawing tool you want to use. There's a pen, a marker and a highlighter. Then you can draw whatever you want. You can click Eraser and erase drawings you don't want anymore. After you finish drawing, you can go back to the text mode. Go to View. Here you can switch your background from dark to bright, for example. You can also open a new window. Go to Insert, click Shape. Here you have various shapes you can select and add to your document, for example triangles or arrows. Go to Home and click this to create bullets. You can choose which kind of bullet you want to use. Go to Insert and click Equation to form equations. Click Date and then the current date pops up. Click Date Time if you want the time to pop up as well. Go to Insert and then click Audio Recorder to record yourself or something else. Go to View and then click Translate to translate anything from your note to a language of your choice. At the top right you can click Share and share your notes with friends or work partners per email for example. This button shows the sync status of your page which is important if you shared your notebook for example. Go to Insert and click Screenshot to make and add screenshots to your page. Click this arrow left to undo your last action or the right one to redo it. We're coming to an end. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next and see you in the next one. Bye.